Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the sign of Virgo. These messages will be for the month of October. They are general, they will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into these messages and see what you can expect for the month of October. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Messages for Virgo. What can Virgo expect for October? Okay. I have forgiveness. And I have body changes. Okay. I, with forgiveness, I heard like making amends. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely getting ready to amend a situation. Or someone is going to be coming towards you to amend a situation. I heard I'm sorry by Jane Wine. Um, so yeah, someone is going to come and offer you an apology for what they have done to you, Virgo. So yes, the roles could be reversed. This could be you offering an apology to someone, but there's going to be some type of amends that are going to be made in the month of October when it comes to someone's actions towards you or your actions towards this person. Yeah, I heard like, please forgive me. Yes, the song by Genuine. I'm sorry. For some of you, this is someone that you were in a relationship. I heard past connection. So this was someone that you were connected to in the past. They're going to be coming forward and apologizing for how they have treated you for the wrong they have done. Um, The song by Biggie, One More Chance, just came to me. So this person wants another opportunity at love this person wants another opportunity to build and to grow with you virgo spirit says don't accept the offer don't accept the offer you can forgive this person but do not accept the offer that they are extending when it comes to being in a relationship spirit says move on for some of you it's just time for you to move on i heard new love new relationship you have someone new that is right around the corner virgo so yes i heard test this is the final test for some of you this is a test by spirit to see if you meant what you said when you left this person and if you pass this test then you will meet your divine counterpart. You will meet someone who is able to offer you what you truly desire. With body changes, I see a lot of you imp making improvements when it comes to your health, when it comes to your exercise regimen, um, when it comes to your eating habits, eating a lot of greenery. Um, I also heard solar plexus chakra. For some of you, you're really going to be working on your confidence when it comes to your body image. You're going to be learning how to love yourself, how to truly embrace who you are. I heard comparison. You're no longer going to be comparing yourself to other people. You're just going to learn just how to be okay with being you, how to love yourself right, how to accept yourself for who you are without judging yourself harshly. You're going to be learning about self-love, developing a stronger love. I also heard self-care. For some of you, you're going to be doing a lot of self-care in the month of October. But yes, your confidence when it comes to your beauty, the way that you look, I heard improvement is going to see an improvement, Virgo. Spirit, tell me more about October for Virgo. Okay unconditional love it says soulmate forever love long history comfortable so i see this two ways the first way i see this is for some of you you definitely have new love coming in you are going to be entering into a new connection you are going to be meeting someone new i heard like at a ballpark so for someone you may actually meet this person at some type of game but yes you're going to be meeting someone new in the month of October. Um, for others of you, I'm getting 
past energy, someone is going to come back and try to offer you another go around when it comes to being in a relationship and especially looking at this long history. You have history with this person, um, or her mother, father, child. For some of you, you have a child with this person and they're going to come back and try to rectify, try to reunite in the month of October. But Spirit says, don't do it, Virgo. Be wise. Do not do it. So let's look at your spiritual energy for the month. Okay, so I have three messages for you. The first message is tarot and guidance. For someone, Spirit says like you're watching a lot of tarot to seek guidance, especially when it comes to um, a relationship, a connection. I heard like soulmate, you're watching a lot of readings concerning love, concerning soulmates. Spirit says like it's time for you to just take a break. Take a break from the love readings. Really trust spirit in this season. Trust divine guidance. Um, I heard them when you least expect. This person is going to come in your life when you least expect it, Virgo. Also, see, for others of you, you're really going to be diving more into divination, more into tarot, learning about tarot, or her history, learning about the history of tarot, um, practicing tarot. You may be doing tarot for yourself or her for others or her clientele. For some of you, your clientele is going to increase when it comes to your tarot business. So, yes. I see vast improvements. I heard YouTube channel. For those of you who have a YouTube channel, things are really going to start to pick up for you in the month of October. But yeah, I see you really connecting more to spirit, connecting more to your spiritual gifts, Virgo. The next message that I have is illusion. I heard seeing the truth. Removing the rose color glasses. I feel like for someone, you're definitely going to start to see the truth. When it comes to your life, when it comes to your decisions, the people in your life, you're going to be pulling away from a lot of people, Virgo. You're going to be releasing a lot of people out of your life, out of your energy. This is going to be significant others. This is going to be family members. This is going to be friends. You're no longer going to force people to be in your life. You're no longer forcing people to be in your life. You're no longer going to be overdoing for other people, giving too much time to a situation, being there for everyone else when no one is there for you. It's like, no, you are really making yourself the priority in this season. And it's like with the illusion, it's like spirit is revealing, spirit is removing the mask. And you're accepting people in situations for who they truly are. You're embracing people's true character. And you're okay with walking away. You're okay with distancing yourself. I heard like smaller. I feel like for some of you, your circle is going to get a lot smaller in the month of October. The next message I have, I heard like no new friends. So yeah, I feel like you're definitely going to be shrinking your friend group for some of you. I have Omen. Yes, really pay attention to the signs and synchronicities in the month of October. Spirit is going to be giving you a lot of signs when it comes to the direction that you need to take concerning your life, concerning your relationships, the people who come into your life. For a lot of you, you're going to be meeting a lot of new people and it's like immediately Spirit is going to give you a sign whether or not you should entertain this person, whether or not you should you know, invest in the situation. It's like really pay attention to the omens, pay attention to the signs that spirit is going to give you. Whether this person or the situation is right for you, spirit will give you a sign for that. If they're not right for you, if this person is deceptive, if the situation is going to lead to some type of toxicity or disappointment, spirit is going to give you a sign for that as well. So really pay attention to what's going on around you in the month of October, Virgo. And I also heard spirit animal. For some of you, your spirit animal is going to be communicating with you a lot. I heard cat. I heard black cat for someone. I also heard bird. I heard crow. 
I also heard pigeon, I heard duck. Yes, really pay attention to your spirit animals in the month because you're going to be receiving a lot of communication. I heard like ancestors, your ancestors is also going to be open to communicating with you. October is going to be a very important month for you, Virgo, to connect with your ancestors. Let's pull some more spiritual messages. I have, when I think I surrender, I surrender more. Spirit wants you to surrender. Just give in. Give in to guidance. Give in to what's going on around you. Don't try to fight against these changes, Virgo. Don't try to hold on to situations or to people out of comfort. Just because you're used to it. No. Spirit is now taking you into a season where it's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. For some of you, it's time for you to walk alone. It's just like surrender. That's what Spirit is asking you to do. Just to surrender to the process. You may not understand it. But just know by and by you will. Know that Spirit is really working on your behalf. I'm getting like a vision of just someone meeting a new person meeting a man and you're going to be very interested in this person like they're going to check all of your boxes but spirit is going to send a sign some type of omen that this person is not for you and it's going to be very hard for you to accept because the way this person presents this person seems like they are right for you they seem like they have everything together, but Spirit says there are things that you don't know. There's something that you don't know. There's things that are hidden. Again, illusion. There's going to be a lot of people coming towards you that are going to be hiding things, that are going to be keeping secrets from you, Virgo. So it's like, yes, this person may seem put together at face value, but when you search a little deeper, you probe a little deeper, then that's when you're going to find things that really don't add up. That's when you're going to find out that, no, this person really isn't the right one for you. So Spirit is like, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by a pretty face or a handsome face and a smile. Look a little deeper. Surrender to what Spirit is telling you. Spirit, God knows. God knows what goes on 24-7, 365 days of the year. So trust, trust in spirit, trust in divine guidance. Just surrender, surrender to the process. You're not going to understand everything, but just be open to following guidance. So let's pull some love messages for you, Virgo. So spirit, what is going to be going on in Virgo's love life? Love messages for Virgo. I have obsession, addiction. I have mirroring. Let's pull another message. And I have reconciliation. Someone from your past is going to come back. I feel like with this obsession and addiction, it's like this person is like obsessed with you. They cannot let you go. They cannot stop thinking about you. Uh, with this mirroring, this person watches you a lot. They watch you a lot on social media. This person may have visions of you and them being back together. They may visualize a connection with you. I heard mental health for someone like this person may struggle with mental health. So you really need to be careful. I heard like lock your doors at night. So make sure that, you know, you're watching your surroundings. You're locking your doors because for someone, this person has an unhealthy obsession. But yes, for others of you, this is someone who wants to come back and reconcile and they watch you a lot. 
I feel like with this mirroring also, this person finally recognizes your worth and your value. Now that you've walked away, now that you've pulled back your energy, this person now finally sees you for who you truly are. Spirit, let's clarify mirroring. I have shadow work, inner child. For someone, I heard transformation. This person may be going through dark night of the soul or may have recently went through dark night of the soul and they want to come back. I heard like brand new. This person has turned over a new leaf or is deciding to turn over a new leaf when it comes to their life. But I heard it's too late. I heard no second chances. Let's get a message for reconciliation. But they definitely watch you a lot. They went through their own disappointments. And this has caused them to really embark upon this new journey of change to take on this new lifestyle, this new way of being, this transformation. Yeah, this person has changed or is in the process of changing. It's like, I heard like reflection. They're finally starting to see themselves for who they truly are. They're finally starting to accept, Spirit says, accountability for their actions. So yeah, I heard apology. This person definitely is going to be coming back and offering some type of apology. Spirit, let's get a message for reconciliation. Look what I have. Game playing and cycles. So yes, for others of you, this person is coming back and they're still in the same energy. They're still toxic. I heard like cheap thrill. They want to take you on a ride. Yeah, <laughs> they want to take you on a ride and not a good ride at that. Not a good experience at that. The same experience. It's the same thing. Different day, different time, different month. But the same game. Yeah, this person doesn't have any intention on giving you what you truly desire. They just want to keep repeating a cycle. And I heard revenge. For some of you, this person is seeking revenge for you letting them go, for you walking for you walking away. They want to hurt you. They want to disappoint you because their ego is bruised because you left. So let's look at your career and finances, Virgo. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's career and finances for the month of October. Virgo's career and finances for October. Okay, I have the Six of Swords. Let's get some more messages. I have the Four of Cups. Okay. I have the Lovers in the Reverse. And I have the page of swords. Okay. Someone is going to be walking away from a job or turning down a job opportunity because it doesn't align with you. Like it's not something that's going to make you happy. I feel like Virgo, you're turning over a new leaf when it comes to your career, your pursuits. And it's like you're going after what it is that you're actually passionate about. I feel like this is going to be you creating some type of new project. You're definitely getting like a new idea on the things that you truly want to pursue in life. Yeah, this is you having an aha moment and realizing exactly what it is that you want to do concerning your career, what it is that you want to do with the rest of your life. And you're realizing that this job, this opportunity just is not it. So you're definitely going to be making a major decision to leave a job, to leave a career, to walk away from something. You're not going to be accepting some type of job offer or a new position because it's not something that truly lights your fire. It's not going to be something that is in line that is in alignment with your soul's calling, with what you truly want to do with your life. And yeah, I feel like even though this is the page of swords, I heard like creative spark. 
there's going to be some type of creative spark, some type of new idea, some type of new adventure that you're going to be taking on when it comes to your career. So I heard I work for myself. For some of you, this is going to be starting your own business in the month of October or making plans to start your own business. But you want to invest in this full time. You no longer want to work for anyone else or be tied down in jobs and situations that do not make you happy. So let's look at your self-care messages for the month. Spirit, what self-care message do you have for Virgo? Self-care messages for Virgo. movement virgo yes get your body into movement yes it's going to be very important for you to listen to some music exercise run jog walk whatever it is that you do to get your body moving spirit says do it yes spirit says energy energy yes by you moving your body that's awakening your energy within you that's awakening the essence within you but your spirit says something about energy yes you moving it really gets your energy going it lifts your energy it uplifts you um i heard like endorphins so yes, it really raises like your vibration. It, it helps you to feel good. It helps to give you energy. For some of you lately, you've been feeling very depleted. Yes, spirit says energy. Your energy has been at a, at a all time low. You haven't had the energy to do much other than to work and maybe take care of things around the house, not really to go out and enjoy life. So your spirit really wants you to get moving, to exercise, you know, to do things that are going to regenerate your body and raise your energy. So let's pull one more final message. Yeah, for someone, Spirit really wants you to connect, like, with your true essence, with who you are. I heard yoga, meditate. Yeah, Spirit wants you to meditate more for some of you. It may be ben beneficial for you to start doing yoga. This is something that you may have already started thinking about. Spirit, let's get one final message for Virgo. Yeah, get your body moving. That's why you feel like you don't have enough energy. Like it's time for you to develop an exercise regimen, you know, to get some stamina. I heard like you keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, you're definitely going to feel an increase. You're definitely going to um, feel a very significant difference when it comes to your daily life. You're going to see how much energy you have left at the end of the day. And it's going to make you feel good. It's going to really create a lot of balance for you, Virgo. I have turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. So, yes. I heard overgive again. Like I said, for some of you, overgive when it comes to your relationships and you find it very burdensome. And in order to release this burden, spirit is going to have you minimize the people that you give your energy to. Because spirit spirit says it's very important for you to give with gratitude and grace. You should be a cheerful giver, Virgo. Do not give because you feel it's a necessity. Sometimes, Virgo, you give, you do things, and you really don't want to do it. You give grudgingly because that's not something that you desire to do. So, yes, make sure that whenever you give, you're giving from a pure heart, from a pure space, and that you're doing it with a spirit of gratitude, with a spirit of thanksgiving. 
and I heard like right person make sure that you're also giving to the right people whether it's material things whether it's your time your energy make sure that whoever you're giving to it's the right person so Virgo these are your messages I hope they resonate stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as I grow with you everyone stay blessed